Hey everyone, it's Kelly from New Jersey Audubon's Government Relations Office. First off, I hope you and your loved ones are staying safe and healthy during these uncertain times. Today I'm in New Jersey's capital, Trenton, to grab our office mail, and I figured that I'd virtually show you all around. So to best protect birds in the places they need, New Jersey Audubon has a small but dynamic team based in Trenton to advocate for policies that safeguard species and our state's prized natural resources for generations to come. We focus on several different issues and causes, like promoting clean water funding and conservation programs, responsible sited wind offshore wind development, protecting pollinators from harmful pesticides, and more. The list goes on and on of what we do. I'd like to think that our organization and office is New Jersey's best defense when advocating on behalf of wildlife. I could be biased though. <laughs> Luckily, all New Jersey Audubon staff are able to complete this important work remotely from their very own homes. We will continue and will always be a voice for our beloved critters, forests, streams, etc. A perk of our office being on West State Street in downtown Trenton is that it is so close to New Jersey State House. Like literally across the street, you can't beat it. This proximity is pivotal in conducting our strategic outreach and making sure that we're acting timely on bills and legislation, which creates a bigger difference for the birds and other wildlife that we're aiming to protect. Of course, we're stronger together in this work and building coalitions of partners helps to repel this forward. I have to say the environmental community in New Jersey is incredibly strong and New Jersey Audubon is seen as a trusted leader on the issues that we serve. No matter who we're meeting with, whether it's at the state house or in district, there's an instant recognition of New Jersey Audubon's brand and our positive reputation that the policies we're advocating for are backed by science. <laughs> of Trenton are filled with suits and enthusiastic citizens. As you can imagine, with the global pandemic, things have really slowed down here, especially with the state budget now being pushed back to September 30th instead of June 30th. We at New Jersey Audubon continue to work alongside legislators during this time on necessary actions, and we're just being mindful about the language we're using in our advocacy. The State House and the Annex is where voting, hearings, and testimonies happen. Our office regularly attends committee hearings as they relate to the environment and provides public comments as needed to encourage lawmakers to vote in favor of wildlife. Annually, the Coalition for the Del River Watershed hosts a State Education Day where we line the halls of the State House and catch legislators before they go to vote. These efforts are usually held towards the end of New Jersey's legislative sessions, but it's probably one of my favorite events to organize and be a part of. <laughs> What's unique about New Jersey is that you can see another state from inside the state house. The mighty Delaware River separates state borders between New Jersey and Pennsylvania. These majestic waters can be enjoyed from downtown and really serve as a perfect reminder of why we do this work each and every day. Whenever I need a break from my computer screen, it's really refreshing just to step outside and wander to the river's edge. Staff from the Coalition of the Del River Watershed, which is a program of New Jersey Audubon, are housed within the Government Relations Office here in downtown Trenton. Their work throughout four basin states, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware, helps to elevate the watershed by protecting these waterways for the 13.3 million people that depend on the basin for their clean drinking water. Lastly, on our virtual tour is the New Jersey State Museum. 
While temporarily closed, it currently has this fantastic exhibit called Fine Feathered Friends, which focuses on educating the public on the abundance of avian species that call New Jersey its home. Once everything's back to normal, I encourage folks to come down and visit. In fact, if you're in the area during the work week, let us know and we're happy to give you a tour of our downtown Trenton office. Well, that's a wrap. As I say, Trenton makes, the world takes. I hope that you all enjoyed my office mail adventure and gained some new knowledge about New Jersey Audubon's Government Relations Office. Feel free to drop a comment below on what other videos you'd like our department to make. Feel free to smash that like button and support our channel by watching other YouTube videos that we've created. All right, everyone, stay safe and healthy during these uncertain times. See you all soon. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. <laughs>